Good morning. You're watching Morning at NTV. Time to take note. And today is a big day. The Institute of Corporate Governance, which was officially launched in October 2000, they foster transparency, accountability, and many great values in corporate governance. Uh, joining me this morning is the CEO of the Institute of Corporate Governance Uganda, and that is Ms. Christine Cheyunika Woya. And I also have one of their partners, and also a member, actually, from Grant Thornton is the managing partner, Mr. Anil Patel. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, it's a big day. The awards are this evening? Sure. This evening, yes, yes. I thought this morning. Yes. But before we get into the awards, perhaps to just start and explain to the viewer what the Institute of Corporate Governance is. Right, right before the Corporate Governance Institute, perhaps what that is. Corporate governance, what are the systems that govern that? I mean, what, what happens at what level? Thank you, Flavia. Good morning, our viewers. Thank you for watching. As I've been introduced, my name is Christine Cheyune Kawoya from the Institute of Corporate Governance of Uganda. About the Institute, the Institute was launched in the year 2000 and we foster good corporate governance principles. We look at the ways an organization is directed, controlled and held to account. Who are these that we can direct and hold to account? It all begins with the board. Every organization should have a board of directors. Yes for it to be clearly directed. This board is responsible for the strategic direction for that organization. Okay. So and that's the top? Yes, that's the top. Yes. And at the Institute of Corporate Governance, we look at promoting excellence in corporate governance, not only in Uganda, but also look at the region. So we have different partners from different regions who are going to support us this evening. We're <laughs> very happy to know that. That's At least they're coming in to support us with this. And looking at the inaugural Corporate Governance Awards, we're looking at celebrating excellence in corporate governance. Before we get into the awards, perhaps yes. I was saying that you, you spoke about the board. What's the next level? Because in, in, with your systems, whether it's training or giving information, who are you working with in the, in the company? Okay, what? Um, we look at the different organizations. Like I said, we have a board. Then we have the senior management. We have the management and then the staff. It all begins at the board because the board is held accountable. So w w which is the most important piece there? Most important piece is the board. The board. Yes. yes. Because when organizations fail, they will not ask, where, where was management? Yeah. They ask, where was the board? Mm. And so that is why we start with the board, training the board so that they know how they can direct the organization. So what are, you, what, what are you training the board to know or to do? in the organization? Is it just to direct? Is it particular ways to deal with all the other levels, management and the staff? The way we direct, the way we um, train the board, we train them in various um, disciplines. Yes. We look at our principles and practices of corporate governance. We look at strategy formulation because it all begins there. Then we look at uh, corporate governance and the law. We look at HR because they're going to have somebody reporting into the board in line with HR. We look at a strategic direction, we look at risk management, and then we look at various disciplines, corporate governance and the law and many others. That How they work together. Yes, how they work together. We look at audit because this is a very important aspect. Mm. And also managing financial aspects, so financial management. We have about 18 disciplines we take them to. Okay. So once they are well versed with this, they can be able to direct the organization and once an, an organization is directed, and usually the chief executive or the m executive director yes. is part of the board or an ex officio. So yes. they are part of this. They will learn, and the board will direct the organization through that executive director. You spoke about auditing and uh, Grant Thornton, accounting and other professional services. Yeah. That's your strength. That's and right. you were telling me off air that they actually started with two. Two members started the Ugandan chapter, is it? And now you're at about how many? Well, uh, it's uh, when we started Kampala office in uh, uh, 2006, yeah. uh, it started with two people. And today we boast an organization of over 100 people. You were one of the two. I, am, I, was, <laughs> I was one of the two. One of yeah. the two. Yeah. And uh, corporate governance uh, must, because you're a member yeah. of the Institute of Corporate Governance, and from two to 100, that means the systems that are working. That's right. Perhaps you can talk to us about the benefits of corporate governance. Um, the system is working, that's number one. But where yes. does the system come from? Yes. And what, what promotes us or, or what encourages us uh, to follow the principle of governance, that's very important. The two things, number one, that the good governance first comes from within, 
okay. the person must be must be passionate about it mm -hmm. and to the support the organization gets or the individual gets mm -hmm. our global organization uh, grand thornton international yes. it has a presence in over uh, 135 countries uh, 50000 people uh, we work together and uh, uh, global organization provides us the strategy document mm -hmm. and that strategy the majority of the part includes the governance related aspects yes so we were provided in 2011 uh, about 272 uh, standards that to any follow. ideal mm. that any ideal grand thornton firm should have it and it is those standards when we started comparing with the actual status within our firm obviously it was a small firm so <laughs> yes. there are so many things that were required to and be must done. You, you, do, you, do you see the importance of following those systems or structures? Even if you're two, even if you're a hundred, mm -hmm. you must. Mm. Well, even if it is an owner-managed business, let's say shop. Yes. Corporate governance affects. Why? Because uh, uh, corporate governance distincts the interest of an individual from the organization and from the society. So we need to balance all three. And, and that's what uh, the purpose why the organization exists. Yes. Because organizations are there to grow and that's what uh, uh, any healthy economy would like to have. Mm -hmm. In Uganda we are looking at uh, the better prospects of the economy. Yes. Anywhere you go they will ask how your economy is doing and well the good economy can only be there when the great organization or the well managed the organizations are there. Yes. So uh, well and, and then again where do we get this well managed uh, and uh, well governed organization that's where the partnership of the institute, institute right yes. and grand thornton comes from okay so uh, you have members who are joining the institute yes, to get the do. training to get the structures to get the systems or to even improve whatever they have yes. already which means not every single organization is a member sure um for the organization that's not yet a member what are they missing out on because they might have whatever structures that are yes. supposedly working for them but they must be missing out on plenty of things if someone is watching and they're thinking that that could interest me Yes, sure. The organizations that are not members are missing out on the activities that we carry on into, in the corporate governance arena. They're missing out on the trainings. And not only on the trainings, they're missing out on interacting with individuals who adhere to corporate governance principles. You know, at times the people you rub shoulders with also matter. Definitely. They will either give you the good um, opportunities they do have, or they'll be able to share the different ideas or what they have benefited or how you can be able to manage your organization better. So you're missing out on this interaction and the networking and you're also missing out on the training if you're not a member because we offer trainings for our members. We offer body evaluations. We offer strategy formulation. We offer so many activities. I'm intrigued to know, is this tailored to say Grant Thornton and oh, you see yes. what they have in line and then the next and then NTV? Is yes. it tailor-made to each one? Yes. For every organization, we, re we take a review yes. of their manuals. And once you know what is happening in their manuals, you know what you can train them in, you know how to improve what they already have in place. Because they may have, but they may have outdated, you know, especially for risk. Cybercrime is coming up. Different things are coming up in risk. How do you manage this? There are better ways of auditing. So they're missing out on the new ones. They may, have, they may have them, but they may be outdated. So partnering with us for the training and being a member will give you the opportunity to interact with this. And not only that, the Institute of Corporate Governance is a member-based organization. And we also belong to the African Corporate Governance Network. And with this, we have the mandate to pick ideas from them, to share experiences within Africa, because it's a region-based yeah, thing. Okay. So we pick experiences from them, and then we train them. We tailor-make them how they can be able to improve those various organizations whose manuals we've reviewed. We're about to have a conversation on the awards, but um, because I'm a staff member, I'm at the yes. staff level, yes. uh, sometimes you're in a company and the structures are there, they're yes. solid, mm -hmm. but you don't know how to interact or work around them or work with them. Uh, sometimes you're not, uh, it's not a lack of being level-headed. Yes. They're just too rigid maybe for you to work around. So, and it's always a question of, are these structures to manage me, to manage the work I do. So, so do you look through into seeing whether it, whatever training you've done, whatever systems you've put in place, are they working 
for everyone in the company, for the people? Because as yes. you said there was an HR perspective yes. in your, in your mm. structures, yes. Okay, yes, we do go back, and thank you for asking that, because it is important. Like yes. I told you, we do board evaluations and also staff. Normally board evaluations will come up to different committees. We have different committees on the board, and different committees will report depending on how the organization is faring. We have yeah. the HR committee, we have the audit committee, we have the risk committee, we have those different committees, mm. and these ones come from the staff. What is the staff response? Yes. How are they acting up to what was in the manual? Mm. So basing on this, we'll be able to come up with a review and then evaluate. How can we do it better? Has it been implemented? If not so, do we go back for further training? But the evaluations really bring out all these aspects Definitely. and then we can be able to build on those. So uh, officially the institute was launched in 2000. Yes. We're in 2018 having the first ICG awards. I'm wondering what took so long? What took so long? <laughs> Why now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that question we're so wondering. <laughs> but as part of our strategic goals, we say we have to award, we have to recognize those individuals excelling in corporate governance. Yes. But being the institute that it was, and with, um, yes, like I said, probably somewhere within 18 years or so, but we're not yet financially sustainable. Oh, okay. So, Mr. Neil Patel from Brad Thornton <laughs> joined the Institute, became a member of the Council, and he realized there was this strategic objective that was not yet met. So I said to people, we can be able to partner in this regard. And we did know. He so was the going idea to was there. You always the wanted to get to there. the point of yes, awarding yes. your members. And, Excellent. And, but you, there was, you know, one constraint. Lack of that. So this partnership sounds like it wasn't a them asking you, it was a you initiating. Tell us about that. Well, normally partnership, uh, one of the partners, uh, one of the partner six uh, a support. Other, yes. Yes. But in this case, you know, both of us, uh, because mm -hmm. I also sit in the, the council, as well as I am the uh, uh, chairperson of the uh, marketing and business development committee. And each time we, we have a meeting, the, the most of important question that comes out is how to grow the number of members, how to take this agenda of good corporate governance among the more number of sectors in the society yes. or more and more number of organizations uh, and we had to do something big something beyond and, and that's where uh, you know our president and ceo when they mentioned that this is what they are planning yes and in no time out of our passion the partners uh, you know my partner jasmine shah i must uh, thank him because he each time uh, he, he says that while you know we are doing well what about the economy how can we help economy in fact he also worries about that how we can help uh, Uganda Revenue Authority in, in collecting more tax. So each time we do oh, our business, yes. But then we think about <laughs> we think about beyond, yes. uh, mm. selfless. Mm. Uh, and that's where uh, we, we derive this energy and we said, let's join hands. For the first time, we take it up with full challenge, not only financially, mm -hmm. but full technical support. Okay. And, and especially we had the, the experience in our Botswana office where, where they do uh, have the a growth award they celebrate every growth year. Growth award. That's right. Yeah. Is that based on each organization's yeah, growth? Yeah, it's called private business growth whether award. Whether it starts up, whether at any level? Uh, I think the companies which are growing, is the, okay, yeah, growing. because mm -hmm. uh, uh, those are the criteria, I believe. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So we said let's join hands and, uh, and we become partners. And more importantly, Flavia, it also comes from the profession in which you are. Because we are in the accounting profession. We have the idea about how the clients and the organizations are doing mostly. And what they lack in our opinion is most of them have great ideas, yes. great intention to do the right things. But uh, somehow, somewhere they miss particular steps about the good governance. And that's why uh, the, the promotion of good governance or, or you know, uh, 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 the role of the institutes and, and private firms like us comes into picture. Okay, so what you're saying is that uh, most companies have good intentions right. to mm -hmm. put the systems in, yeah. um, to work, to have good structures, but there's that one step, there's a gap to the execution. Sure. So these awards are meant to do what? For the members, for the organizations, and also for those who are yet to be members. What are these awards doing mainly? Is it to put the word out there that you exist? Is it something else? Thank you, Flavia. The awards first will enhance our presence and our need to grow corporate governance in our country and in the region. But again, to the organization that the organizations that are taking part, it will enhance their ability to better 
in the ways because then you identify why haven't I won the award? We look for those areas that made you fail or areas that you're not performing well in because some areas are better, some organizations are better than the others in different it. aspects. And that is why we're going to have a winner. We had a judge, we had judges who were able to assess and they're coming out with a clear report of where you have room for improvement. Like anybody's marked and say, you, have, you can improve in this area. So we're going to identify those areas where they can improve. And just to let you know, some organizations looking through a nomination list, yes. they said, you know, we're failing in this area. We don't have the board minutes probably for the, for the past two years. Yes. We shall improve, we shall make it and better. Way, the yeah. committees haven't met. And when the committees haven't met, how are you going to feed back into the board? So those are some of the areas that were identified. And some organizations really wanted to participate, but they said, you know what? We are lacking. But next so year we're coming year. out stronger. <laughs> and many of them have mentioned. That's great. Then that is one of the areas how they're going to come out. They have known where they're lacking. And also for those ones, we shall be able to give support, training support, for them to be able to improve. Grant Thornton, our partner, has the strength. It will be able to go there, improve in financial management, in yeah. audit. You know, so they're feeding their, their expertise as well into Certainly. this. So they're happening this evening. Yes. It's an invite only from what you mentioned Certainly yesterday. It's an invite but only. Um, um, some of you said there are five finalists, is it? The three finalists. Three finalists. Yes. And you're getting one winner Certainly. out of the three. One winner. So I'm guessing this is not a partnership that will end this year? No. Sure. Surely you're going to keep going. For you as Grant Thornton, what um, beyond today, beyond this evening, would you like um, as an end objective for after these awards? Uh, the most, as I said earlier, that, you know, the strategy, growing together with market and community is one of the pillar of our uh, strategy 2020, globally, Yes. anywhere in the, uh, in, the, in the globe. And unlocking the potential for growth in our economy, in the market, is our one of the strategy and therefore this strategy we will continue to pursue, pursue will take far more aggressive actions uh, uh, and many of these actions has nothing to do with what interest we have it our interest is a is an interest in supporting the economy because yes. without the the sound and uh, and uh, you're operating uh, in the economy absolutely. anyway, so absolutely. you must yeah. play your part. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, that is Mr. Anil Patel from Grant Thornton, a managing partner and CEO of Institute of Corporate Governance Uganda. Uh, that is Ms. Christine Chevinika, where the ICG or Institute of Corporate Governance Uganda awards are on this evening. Invite only, but at least now you know they exist as your organizations. Now you have a chance to ask questions. Why aren't you a member? Why aren't you taking advantage of all that they can give with its training, with its skills in HR, accounting, and all the others? So look for them. Institute of Corporate Governance, Uganda. As we're winding up, I do.